And welcome back to Let's Play Portal. Here we are in Chamber welcome 4. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. I just said that. You're doing quite well. Thank you. And if you time it just right, that box will end up falling down and coming out of this portal and landing right on that button. So I'm going to see if I can do that. Quite well. Nope. Quite well. You're not supposed to land there. You're doing quite well. Almost. You're doing quite well. There we go. Ah, that was so close. Work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. But yeah, if you're trying for a speed run, you could do it like that and just hope that it goes on properly. We can uh, detach a couple of these cameras. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. And where did our radio go? There's our radio. Already get this signal. Place it right in this alcove back near the beginning. And you get this message. Alright, now I said this level was going to be fun because there's a lot of extra debris around here. So you can do things that you're not supposed to do. For example, you put a couple of cameras in this door. Yeah, I like to use portals to shortcut instead of just walking halfway across the level. Because the shortest distance between two points is a portal. So yeah, I think if those cameras are right there properly, I'm gonna quick save here. Take the, the box off the button. The door is still open. So you man could manage to skip through this way. That, nope. It's closing in on the cameras. Well, let's see if we can get the box through there. Right by the corner. Oh, and it's closing on us. Let's try this again. Let's try to reposition these properly. Oh, I don't like that. Careful now. Why are you grabbing that by the wrong end? Damn it. Alright, one end there. Why am I getting hung up on you? God damn, the movement in this game is not great. Stop standing on it. You have feet. Why, are you, why do you keep turning when I try to turn you? There we go. Place you on this corner there and against that door. Quick save here. All right, let's see if we can get it to work this time. There we go. Go through the fucking wall. Despite the best efforts of the enrichment center staff to ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, you have managed to ensnare yourself permanently inside this room. A complimentary escape hatch will open in three, two, one. Yep, and if you manage to do that, they actually destroy the cube on the other side. And they don't give you another one, even though they have the, uh... They have one right up there, you can see it. But they don't open that up to give you a new cube. So you're just basically trapped, and they decide to open the door for you. So they took this stuff into account, where you can actually glitch the game, and they expect you to do it because they recorded special GLaDOS recordings. They had Ellen do special stuff for that, which I think is really neat. They they saw the testers doing stuff like this and they anticipated it. I just think that's a great feature in this game. This just this have these awesome Easter eggs. Yeah, there's another interesting Easter egg where the portal is actually clipping into this wall somewhat. So if you look through, you can actually see the outline of the door. This right here is the back of the polygon behind the door. You can see through it because it doesn't have a texture on it. And you can see the other end right here. You can see the wall that it's up against. Let's position this uh, portal somewhere else. Okay, if you place a portal right here in the corner, not there, right here, you can actually look up through the ground and see the ceiling through it. 
You can see outside the map by looking out that way, because we're looking out... I'm, I'm pointing at my monitor right now. We're looking out through the angle through up this way, and you can actually see the elevator and everything through that. And the same happens if you place one on the ceiling. You can see through down to the ground. See down at ourselves. You can see down through the map. You can, that happens when you can place it on any corner. And you can place one here. And you can see up through the glass there. And I think we can get one if we place one here somewhere. You can do things like that. You can also cause it to kind of spaz out like that. No. Uh, I'm going to try to get this to clip through the wall. Because I did before. I managed to get the box to clip through. Oh, yeah. Now I remember what I did. Um, you place a portal right here. Right flat up against the wall. And the portal actually clips through the, through the edge here. And even into the door itself. So you can... Um, you can place one here, and it'll it'll stay there. So we just squeeze through. Let me squeeze through, damn it! I can't get through. Okay, uh, try like this. Pull it through behind me. And it just clips. It's almost clipped through the wall like that. Um, I should have done this after I'd already opened the door. Okay, I'm going to try to get this door to uh, crash. One second. One. And the box is still here. Awesome. So I'm going to quick save here. And I'm going to see if I can clip this portal through the wall. Just place it just as far to the left as possible. That's pretty good. Look at that. It's clipping almost completely through that section. Yeah, the physics are not completely perfect around the portal, especially when it's dealing with multiple models. Because there's actually two companion cubes, or these are not companion cubes. There's actually two weighted storage cubes right here. There's one up against this side, and then one up against that side. So, the physics here are not perfect. So you're actually able to get it to clip through this door sometimes. Push it out, see if I can get it again when I push it back in. There. There, now it's clipped through the door. And you can see it clipping through the door right now. So if I place this portal somewhere else, the box will come with it. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can have a lot of fun with portals and physics, and I will show you more happening later on. Let's uh, just finish this level quickly now. We got our cameras, we got everything we needed. Let's head on forward. Let's do one more chamber before the end of this episode. Talk, GLaDOS. Oh yeah, they said we're not gonna monitor this chamber. And yet, she gives us cameras. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Box there. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. Bullshit. Cameras are not vital to our success. They, they're not even strong enough to weigh down a button or anything. So yeah, the key to this chamber is you have two boxes and two buttons. Guess what you have to do? You place one box on one button. One box on another button, and what do you know? The door opens. And once you step through here, the door is going to close on you. So once you have both the uh, boxes placed on the buttons, shoot a portal there to get the uh, radio out, and then you have to place it down in this. Place. In order to get the message, you place it down here. And if you translate that message, this is what you get. So, yeah, that's it for this chamber. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not have monitor three cameras this chamber right now, was so. an outright fabrication. Good job. So, yeah, As part and... of a required test Quiet. protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. 
And that does it for this episode. Um, I will see you guys next time for more Portal. Take care, everybody.